The ladies were up next for this two-minute timeout to talk about the triple threat for the AEW Women's Championship as Jamie Hayter took on Ruby Soho and Soraya, the woman everybody in AEW has turned against, or so it seems, and she's flipped them all off and gone her own way. This match was okay. I'm not a big fan of multi-person matches. I'm not a big fan of the multi-team tag team match. I'm not a big fan of three-way matches, four-way matches. I just want to see one-on-one -on -one Two on two, three on three, and nothing else. But I'm never going to get that in modern wrestling, so I got to go with the flow. Again, the wrestling here was absolutely fine. I'm a big fan of Jamie Hayter. I'm cool with Soraya. I'm cool with Ruby Soho as well. But Jamie Hayter is, I don't want to say the man. I didn't get sued by Ric Flair and Becky Lynch at the same time. But she's great. And both of these other girls were great, too. I don't know what people's problem with Soraya is. She's a little rusty. She's just coming back after, what, seven, eight years. Give her a break. But this was a solidly well-worked match with all three working against each other. There was no teaming up. There, the minute you thought there was, the other would punch the one in the face that was standing there applauding them, beating on the other one. It was a typical three-way match, though. Nothing special here. It probably would have got my least favorite match of the night if not for that ridiculous cluster of a tag team matchup. But that was saved by the Revival. Oh, FTR. <laughs> that was saved by... The Revival coming back. Oh, my God. That was saved by FTR coming back. What was this saved by? Well, it's questionable. Ruby Soho turns at the end. Jamie Hayter gets the big win and celebrates. Soraya's laying off on the side. And all of a sudden, Ruby Soho, after raising her arm with the winner, Jamie Hayter, gives her a big kick in the back of the head and pounds her down with Soraya. Did that save this matchup? I think it's a little interesting. I don't think Ruby Soho, her entrance theme is real heelish, but I, I don't see her changing it. I mean, my God, she's friends with the musicians who make that, right? I doubt she changes that, but it doesn't come across very heelish at all. Not a big deal. This wasn't as big of a deal as the return of the one and the only FTR, but it was a nice little spin at the end that made it somewhat more interesting than the average match that it was.